pretty useful brush. It's it's meant for specifically meant for painting foliage, like trees and stuff, which is kind of a, re a reason why I love using it. Um, then you just kind of curve out, it, and I'm gonna make a bigger one going up out here. And now I start by doing like a singular line and then widening it out for now. This is how you start it. You know, I probably should have had a Bob Ross VHS tape just playing on like an old TV. Um, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is, so now that you have your paint, canvas painted, and then you've got the like base for the trunks, you got to, you got can start like doing stuff with leaves. And for that, I'm going to put some dark green, green and white and like different areas for easier mixing and then white. So it's black, I guess. And you gotta, you're gonna mix the white with, well, no, nothing yet, not, not anything right now, but you will in a little bit. All right. You mix the green and black together, and then you have more green than black, so it like, Gives it an even coloring. I did not do that. And that was my bad. Yeah. Well, you can have it in large amounts because that's, I do like multiple coats. So large amounts like this actually would be a good idea to be honest. But once you get your dark green, you kind of don't want it. You're going to do a little like, you want to RB. It, this this is perfect for making curved lines, which is why you're gonna have a look like curve. You curve down the brush, you tap and curve, or you can just do it like this. I prefer tapping while doing it, because it gives me a, a better I, way of guessing. And then to make it actually look like palm tree leaves, you like you slightly do this and pull down. And it gives it a cool, like, frayed look, like where there's, it looks like there, you can see the lines and where the leaves would be. And that gives it a cool look. And you wanna have, I, I, I call this the five rule, but you can make it better. You, five palm tree leaves, basically branches too. That's all you should really have. There's no, you don't need a bunch, but that also is kind of basic. And you just keep curving and then pulling down. Or I could say arch. Arch, you arch the leaves sort of like in a way, I don't know. You arch it and then you just pull down, sort of like that. And you do this a lot more, many more times. There's five leaves. Well, no, that's more like six. That's better. No, the six rule. That's what you should do. Six leaves. And you just keep going like that and you pull down. Just keep doing it. Make it look like this, the island from that you see in like the intro to SpongeBob. Make it look Like that, Basically, yeah, make it look like the little island that you see like all the time on SpongeBob. Like they pan up and there's that weird island. That make it look like those trees, pretty much. If you're wanting to do this, do it. Make it like that. Sponge. You paint a little pineapple. Like lift this up and put a little pineapple or something. Like that. I don't know. That's I'm not doing that, but that would make it look pretty good.
boom, now that you have the base of them, you wanna add a little bit of brown into this. All right, it'll make sense, trust me, trust me, this will make sense. It gives you a cool little, a weird, a weird coloring of greenish gray, and then you use this to apply shading if you want. I do this personally, like you don't have to, but I love doing this. It makes it really look realistic, more realistic. 